plus hundred silver. Um, bye bye, uh, se sova. I'm I'm uh... double shock, but top. I have the bomb somehow. <laughs> Hello hunters and welcome to my channel. Hope you enjoyed the shock dot clips from my stream as much as I enjoyed hitting them. On the map are the double shock dot spots that I will show you in this video. Let's get started. These shocks will kill the player standing behind boxes in A site. Stand between these grey floor tie lines and go touch this corner of the building. Look up and put the right diamond on this cloud shape like this and do a double charge. For the second one, drag your mouse down until the drone bar line is touching the top left corner of this square stone like this and do a one charge. Both arrows together. These shocks will kill the player holding from generator. Go between these boxes here and for the first dot, put the white dot above the left click HUD between these rift spikes and do a 2 charge. Then drag your mouse down until you see this yellow spot on the side here, put your left hotline under it like so and do a 1 charge. Now the arrows together. These shocks will kill the player peeking from rafters. Stand next to this wall and move so you can't see the wooden box like this. Then look up and line up the right line inside charge bar with a little reef cloud like this and do a one charge. For the next one you are going to aim to the right next to this little line on the wall and do a one bounce full charge. Revealing area. The arrows together. These shocks will kill the player defusing the spike. Go in this corner next to the green box and under this cloud shape there is a tiny cloud. Put your right diamond under it like this and do a one charge. Then drag your crosshair down to this rift cloud tip and one tap. Both arrows together look like this.
These sharks will kill the player picking mid link from short. Go in this corner next to the pig and line up your right hotline on the flag base like this. And do a 2 charge. For the next one you are just going to drag it on the box like this leaving some space between the edge and the line. And do a 1 charge. Both arrows together. These sharks will kill the player picking main from lobby. Go in this corner and aim right under this bar joint and do a 2 charge. Ahead. Then drag your crosshair down until your left diamond touches the bar joint under like this and do a 1 charge. Ahead. Now the arrows together. These sharks will kill the player picking rafters from A main. Go in the same corner and line up the edge of this building here near the wall with the left diamond under it like this. So the letter H stays on the building edge and do a 2 charge. Drag the crosshair down and look to the right HUD line until you see this dark spot under the balcony. Put the line a bit under it without touching like this and do a 1 bounce, 1 charge. Both arrows together look like this. These sharks will kill the player planting default. Line up next to the wall near this plank or look down to see if your crosshair stops on the yellow part like this. Look up to the right side of the cloud and put your left diamond in this shape just like this and do a one charge. For the next one, aim a bit under on this cloud spike and do a one tap. It's best to use them when you hear the door closing or right when they plant it. If the enemy player gets shocked and changes the position behind these boxes, from the same spot look at this gap on the cloud and put your left diamond under it and do a 1 charge. For the next arrow just aim at the first one in the air and do a 1 tap. With a bit of practice both arrows together should look like this. If you have a hard time pushing B because there's a nodding player spamming the wall, go in this corner next to the door and to the bottom right of this yellow box line up the tip of your shock dot icon like this and do a 2 charge. For the next arrow, follow this edge of the building down until the letter A reaches the dark wall and sits right next to the tree and do a 1 bounce full charge. This lineup is a bit harder and will take a bit of practice to get it right.
These shocks will kill the player holding B main from stairs. Go in this corner near the octopus and you're gonna use this rock here near the wall and line up your left hotline next to it like this with a 2 charge. For the next arrow, drag down until your left diamond reaches this antenna and do a 1 bounce, 1 charge. Both arrows together should look like this. These shock darts will kill the player hiding in logs. Go in this corner near the door and put the tiny curved hotline near drone on this dog spot like this. And two charge. Ahead. For the next dart, drag down until the left tip of the hotline reaches the top of the lamp and do a one charge. Both arrows together for a free first blood kill. These shocks will kill the player holding market. From the octopus corner, line up the right diamond under this building corner edge like this. and do a 2 charge. Area. Drag down and line up your charge bar under this window like this. And do a 1 bounce, 1 charge, jump and release. Both arrows should look like this. These shock dots will kill enemies peeking or pushing B main. Go next to this wall and line up so you can't see this white box anymore. Then for the first arrow, aim right under this solar panel like this and do a 2 bounce full charge. For the next one, put your right diamond under this lamp and do a 2 bounce 2 charge. Area. Both arrows together will look like this and it's best to use them right when the round starts. Here's another great way to stop a B rush with shock darts. Go in this corner near the green box and put your right line inside charge bar just under the middle window bar like this without touching and do a 1 bounce full charge. Then run straight to the corner to your right and aim at this tile and do a 1 bounce full charge again. These shock dars will kill the player planting B default. If you're coming from A, go in this corner near the plant part and for the first arrow put the left hotline on this gap of the kidney shaped stone near the clock tower like this and 2 charge. For the next one, use the lion graffiti and put the line between drone and shock like this on the top of its head and do a one charge. Ahead. Both arrows done correctly.
Another variation for when there's a smoke and you're holding B, go in this corner and right where the tree meets the wall, put your left line inside charge bar, under it like this and do a two charge. Then turn back to the wall behind you and aim on this spot near the lion head where the brick wall ends and do a two bounce, two charge. Both arrows together. These shocks will kill the player picking in top mid. Go in this corner and put a little curved hotline near drone on this metal bar corner like this and do a full charge. For the next shock, look at the right edge of rooftop on the other side and put the charge bar on top of it like this and do a 1 bounce 2 charge. You have to wait for the first arrow to touch the cloud and then shoot the second arrow for perfect timing. These shocks will kill the player holding with an operator between market and pizza. Go in this corner near the door and for the first lineup, put the right shock dot tip under the bar on the screen building like this and do a 2 charge. Then drag down and put your left diamond left tip where the white panel meets the bar like so and do a 1 bounce 1 charge. Ahead. Both darts together. Shock dart. This is a very common spot where players gather, so I'm gonna do three variations depending on your position. If you're holding short, go in this corner and for the first arrow, follow this branch until you see a tiny sky spot. Aim at it and to charge. For the next arrow, drag down until you see these leaves and put the hotline tip near drone on the last leaf like this and do a one charge. Now the arrows together. If you're holding mid, go into this corner in pizza and use this middle window to line up the right tip of the shock dot icon with the bottom right part of the window like this and do a 2 charge. For the next one, look at the clock tower and put the center part of the left clock between the diamonds like this and do a 1 bounce, 1 charge. Both arrows together should look like this. If you're holding B, go next to this box and right here under the lamp, line up your little curved hotline like this and do a 2 charge. Then for the next one, drag down until your hotline end near drone touches this bronze spot on the wall and do a 1 charge jump and release. Both arrows done correctly should look like this. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and also follow my socials and I'll see you in the next video hunters.